Hello everyone, welcome to Testport India. So this is the first class of quantitative aptitude. So we will begin with uh, percentages, okay, and then we will move on to some other arithmetic topics, okay. So percentages, percentages is a super important concept as far as quantity is concerned, okay. So lots and lots of questions, uh, lots and lots of concepts. Uh, are derived from percentages okay they, their roots are from percentages so percentages is like a backbone take arithmetic take uh, or just take uh, data interpretation percentages is a must do topic so you must have a very good command in percentages if you want to do really well in quant section and in di section right so let's get started. So let me uh, just briefly about the definition. I hope lots of you already know, already are aware of percentages. But let me tell you one thing. So when whenever you tell, whenever you tell that you scored, let's say 80%, okay, 80% in an exam, what does this mean? That means for every 100 marks, you scored 80 marks, right? So percentage means per cent. Per cent means for cent means hundred. So for every hundred, okay. So percent means you are comparing a number with hundred. For every hundred, you are comparing that. In this case, eighty percent. So for eighty is being compared with hundred. So that's the meaning of percentage, right? So we shall look into how to convert a fraction into percentage ratio and decimal into percentage and vice versa right so uh, how to convert a fraction into percentage take any fraction let us take uh, 1 by 2 okay so this is a fraction 1 by 2 is a fraction to be precise 1 by 2 is a proper fraction right proper fraction why why because the numerator is less than the denominator right so 1 by 2 is a fraction so to convert 1 by 2 into percentage what should we do we must multiply it with 100 so what is the result we get 50 50 percent so we converted fraction into percentage ratio into percentage okay so let us take the same example 1 by 2 can be expressed as 1 is to 2 in ratio form okay in ratio we can express 1 by 2 as 1 is to 2 so how to convert 1 is to 2 into percentage 1 is to 2 means 1 by 2 again and uh, multiply it with 100 we get 50 percent right so we convert a ratio into percentage now decimal into percentage take any decimal let's take 0 0.5 0 0.5 is a decimal right so 0 0.5 how can we convert into percentage just multiply 0 0.5 any decimal any decimal with 100 we get here what do we get 50 percent right we converted decimal into percentage so how to convert percentage into fraction take a fraction take a percentage let's take 20 percent so what does 20 percent mean 20 by 100 so just remember this if you are removing this percentage symbol then you must add 100 to the denominator okay okay to 20 percent means 20 by 100 which is equal to 1 by 5 so you converted percentage into fraction okay so conversion of percentage into ratio take some other percentage let's take 25 percent okay 25 percent means 25 by 100 so 25 by 100 means 1 by 4 1 by 4 means 1 is to 4 so you converted percentage into frac uh, into ratio right so percentage into decimal take or uh, take any percentage let's take the same example here okay 25 percent 25 percent means 25 by 100 okay so 25 by 100 how to convert this one into decimal 0 0.25 see after two after this decimal we have two digits why because we have two zeros in the denominator right we have two zeros in the denominator 
so let's go to the next slide fraction and percentage equivalent okay so this is one by one one by one um, the percentage equivalent of one by one is hundred how did we get how did we get hundred so one by one is multiplied with hundred so in the previous slide I told you right to convert fraction into percentage fraction into percentage we must multiply that fraction into uh, with with hundred right with hundred we must multiply that fraction so these all fractions are multiplied with 100 that's why we got the percentage equivalence of these respective fractions okay so for cat for cat learning from 1 by 1 to 1 by 20 is important super important for faster calculations even though you have calculator in cat you have calculator in cat please to try to try not to use that okay try not to use that you have to calculate in your brain okay and you shouldn't even take three to five seconds at least to convert this to convert either per percentage equivalent into fraction or fraction into percentage you shouldn't take even three to five seconds okay so in in that way you must memorize all this at least from one by one to one by twenty okay please go through this table and you must learn them fine so let's uh, solve some basic questions so what do you do is just pause the video and solve try to solve them after that if you are unable to solve then you can resume the video and view the solution okay just pause the video okay hope you solve this so find the number of girls if they are 35 percent boys in a school and the total number of students in the school is thousand thousand so here what is given total total students are thousand out of thousand 35 percent are boys so out of thousand if 35 percent are boys we can say how many are boys we can directly say 350 boys but how did we arrive this 350 arrive to this 350 35 by 100 35 percent means 35 by 100 out 35 percent of 1000 right so we got 350 as boys number of boys but what's the question here find the number of girls so if 350 are boys then how many are girls out of 1000 if 350 are boys then remaining 650 will be girls right so this is what we are asked to find out right so 350 are boys and 650 are girls fine so next question a shopkeeper announces a reduction of 8.33 percent on all its prices after diwali festival if a fan was earlier for 2400 how much would it cost now okay so earlier price earlier price of the fan was 2400 okay earlier price was 2400 but now there is some discount there is some reduction in price how much 8.33 percent 8.33 percent reduction 8.33 percent of 2400 this is the reduction so what is the fraction equivalent of 8.33 percent so in the previous slide if you remember we discussed a uh, fraction equivalents and percentages okay so 8.33 percent means 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 is equal to 8.33 percent so uh, 2400 minus 1 by 12 of 2400 which is equal to 1 by 12 here 1 by 12 of 2400 which is equal to 200 so 2400 minus 200 discount that is equal to 2200 so the final price after this discount 8.33 percent discount of the fam okay is 2200 this is the final price right so 8.33 percent is equal to 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 means 200 in this case fine okay let's move on to the next question two third of three fifth of uh, one eighth of a certain number is 268.50 rupees 
ओके ओके मे नॉट बी रुपीज ओके टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वाट इज थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द नंबर ओके सो टू थर्ड टू थर्ड मीन्स टू बाई थ्री ऑफ ऑफ मीन्स इन टू टू थर्ड ऑफ थ्री फिफ्थ थ्री फिफ्थ मीन्स थ्री बाई फाइव ऑफ इन टू वन एथ ऑफ अ सेट नंबर वी डू नॉट नो दैट नंबर सो लेट इज एज्यूम दैट नंबर टू बी एक्स ओके दैट नंबर इज एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओके टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सो वॉट 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 इज द क्वेश्चन हियर वी मस्ट फाइंड थर्टी पॉइंट ऑफ द नंबर सो वी मस्ट फाइंड थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ एक्स थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ एक्स सो लेट इज कैलकुलेट एक्स फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट वी विल फाइंड आउट थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ एक्स सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू जस्ट सॉल्व इट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव इंटू एट बाई टू इंटू थ्री इंटू वन ओके सो एक्स एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव थ्री सेवन जीरो ओके सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव थ्री सेवन जीरो बट वी मस्ट फाइंड थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ एक्स सो हियर वी विल कैलकुलेट वॉट इज थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ एक्स थर्टी बाय हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव थ्री सेवन जीरो ओके थर्टी बाय हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव थ्री सेवन जीरो सो जस्ट कैंसिल आफ्टर कैंसिलेशन आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन यू विल गेट वन सिक्स वन वन एस आंसर ओके वन सिक्स वन वन इज थर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी राइट सो लेट्स मोन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ईज बाय ऑफ रूल ओके ईज बाय ऑफ रूल so before before knowing this before knowing this we will solve one one problem so that you can understand the concept in a better way so what percent of 120 is 360 what's the meaning of this what percent of 120 is 360 360 by 120 into 100 okay and we will get after cancellation we will get 300% okay so this is the meaning but most of the aspirants most of the uh, students what they do is they get confused which one to place in the numerator which value to place in the denominator so for that they they for this they may even uh, write like this 120 by 360 into 100 which is wrong for this question it is wrong so how to avoid this confusion okay so here which what is following is 360 follows is so here is is in the numerator right so let me write it is by of or than rule okay than rule so is is in the numerator so whatever number follows is will be in the numerator and of is in the denominator so whatever number okay follows of will be in the denominator just remember like this okay and calculate the percentage you will get it okay so second second example 25 is what percent of 500 25 is what percent of 500 so here 500 follows of so it will be in the denominator is is near 500 okay is is beside 500 okay so 25 will be in the numerator fine so into 100 as we are asked to calculate the percentage so value is 5% okay so a is what percent of b so b is b should be in the denominator as b follows of okay so a is near is okay a is near is so a will be in the numerator into 100 okay so a is what percent more than b a is more than b right a is more than b but what percent more than b so in this case we must calculate take the difference between a and b and here see observe observe here b follows than b doesn't follow off okay so even the b doesn't follow off if it follows than whatever entity follows than that must be in the denominator see here you observe of or than okay 
so whether of or them that must be in the denominator so a minus b by b into 100 in this case okay so let's move on to the next slide percentage increase and decrease which is known as percentage change okay so what is percentage change whenever we have two values okay uh, let's okay let's consider this example harshit's salary harshit's salary okay harshit's salary in the year the year 2000 2001 and 2002 are 50000 80000 and 60000 respectively so what did you understand from this statement from the given statement what did you understand harshit's salary got increased from 2000 to 2001 why the, in 2000 the value the salary of harshit was 50000 in 2002 the value the salary of harshit is 80000 so it got increased right okay but if we compare 2001 and 2002 the salary got decreased why from 80000 to 60000 it got decreased decreased by 30000 sorry 20000 from 2000 to 2001 it got decreased it got increased by 30000 whereas from 2001 to 2002 it got decreased by 20000 okay in terms of money in terms of monetary values we are expressing like 20000 30000 but how can we express that in terms of percentage right so for that we have to know the know how to calculate the percentage change right so if we consider 2000 and 2001 years okay years year to 2000 and 2001 so in 2000 the salary was 50000 okay and in 2001 the salary was 80000 so calculate percentage change see percentage change can be either increase or decrease that's not a problem percentage change in this case it is increase okay but percentage change how to calculate the difference in two values okay the difference by the initial initial value into 100 this is the percentage change so here what is the difference difference between two values 80,000 okay 80,000 minus 50,000 by initial value what is the initial value which one comes first 2000 or 2001 the year 2000 comes first right so take this one take this value 50,000 this is the initial value initial salary first salary so difference by initial value into 100 so calculate 80,000 by 50,000 by 50,000 which is equal to 30,000 by 50,000 into 100 which is equal to 60% okay 60% increase right it has got increased from 50,000 to 80,000 so 60% increase right so as far as money value is concerned it got increased by 30,000 rupees 30,000 rupees so 30,000 rupees means 60% in this case okay let us consider this one let us compare 2001 and 2002 calculate the percentage change okay so in 2001 what's the, what is his salary 2001 it's 80000 okay in 2002 it was 60000 okay so what's the percentage change take the difference 80000 minus 60000 which is 20000 20000 by 20,000 by initial value which one come for comes first 2001 or 2002 year 2001 right so take this value 80,000 into 100 okay difference by initial value into 100 what is the change percentage change it's it's 25 percent so calculate this zeros all or cancel all the zeros and calculate you will get 25 percent decrease not increase 25 percent decrease in the salary okay so uh, if we uh, name it in monetary 
values uh, it is 80000 and 60000 it's 20000 reduction 20000 reduction in salary 20000 reduction means 25% reduction so percentage change versus percentage point change in the last slide we discussed about percentage change but what is meant by percentage point change percentage point change so percentage point change means nothing but it's the absolute difference between two percentage changes let us consider this example you will understand in a better way so last year last year rahul's salary was 10000 okay let me let me change this color first okay last year rahul's salary was 10000 anjali's salary was 8000 this year rahul's salary is 12,000 while Anjali's salary is 10,000. Okay, so what is the percentage increase of Rahul's salary? Percentage increase of Rahul's salary. So if you consider last year Rahul's salary was 10,000 rupees and Anjali's sorry this year uh, Rahul's salary is 12,000 rupees. Okay, 12,000. So we need to find the difference. This is the last year's salary. This is the this year's current salary. So to change to to calculate the percentage increase, that is percentage change. Okay, percentage change. We must calculate the difference, right? If you remember the formula, the formula is difference by initial value into hundred, right? So calculate the difference. Difference twelve thousand minus ten thousand, which is equal to two thousand. So 2000 by initial value. What was the initial salary, initial value of Rahul? 10,000. 2000 by 10,000 into 100. That is equal to 2 by 10. That is equal to 1 by 5, which is equal to 20%. Okay, 20%. What is the percentage increase of Anjali's salary? Anjali's salary, previous year's salary was... 8000 current year's salary is 10000 okay what is the percentage change of anjali's salary it's 10000 minus 8000 which is 2000 by initial value initial value is 8000 into 100 okay so 2000 by 8000 into 100 which is equal to 25 percent it is the percentage increase right in Rahul's case, it is 20%. In Anjali's case, it is 25%. The percentage change. So, what is the percentage point change? Percentage point change in the salary of Anjali and Rahul. As I told you, percentage point change is nothing but absolute. The absolute. Absolute difference between two percentage changes okay two percentage changes so here what is the first percentage change 25 percent second change is 20 percent so the difference 25 percent minus 20 percent which is equal to five percent point change five percent point change between rahul and anjali okay Rahul and Anjali. This is the percentage point change. Okay, percentage point change means the absolute difference between two percentage changes. Right. Okay. If a value is increased by n by d, then to get back the same number from the resultant value, we must we have to decrease the increased value by n by d plus m okay so we, we shall take this example akil has 66 percent books percent more books than amit amit has how how many percent how much percent of books lesser than akil okay so we will take here akil akil we will consider amit here okay here amit here akil so akil has 66 66.66% more books than Amit. Okay, more books than Amit. 
So what is the percentage equivalent of 66.66? 66.66 is equal to 2 by 3, 2 by 3 fraction. So the fraction equivalent of 66.6 is 66 is equal to 2 by 3. But our question is how many how much percent of books lesser than Akil? So Amit has how much percent of books lesser than Akil? So here we have if the value is increased by n by d. Here what is n by d? 2 by 3 is n by d. Then to get back to the same number, to get back to the same number, we have to decrease the increased value by n by d plus n. So n by d now should now it should become n by d plus n. So 2 by 3 must be equal to I mean must become 2 by 3 plus 2 which is equal to 2 by 5. Okay. So 2 by 5 to convert 2 by 5 into uh, into percentage you have to multiply it with 100 right to, to an, any fraction in order to convert any fraction into percentage we, we must multiply it with 100 so 2 by 5 into 100 which is equal to 40 percent right so Akil has 66.66 percent .66 more books than Amit Amit has 40 percent lesser books than Akil okay 40% lesser books means 2 by 2 by 5 fraction 2 by 5 lesser books than Akil Okay, so here 2 by 3 here 2 by 5 2 by 5 we just 2 by 5 convert it is converted into percentage, right? So let's move to the next slide Okay, on the contrary if a value is decreased by n by d then to get back to the original original number We have to increase the decreased value by n by d minus n Minus n. So let's take the same example same example if we remember Akil we will take Akil here Okay, we'll consider Amit here Amit and here Akil so how many books Amit has how many books lesser than Akil 40% 40% books lesser than Akil so I am putting minus here lesser than Akil so Akil has how many books greater than uh, more than Amit how many books more than Amit so 40% what is the fraction equivalent of 40% minus 2 by 5 See, minus why I put minus here because minus indicates reduction okay Amit has 40% lesser books than Akil right so that's why lesser that 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 indicates that refers to minus okay so Akil has how many books how much percent of books more than Akil more than Amit so uh, here we can see if a value is decreased by n by d so this is decreased by n by d n by d means 2 by 5 n by d here refers to 2 by 5 then to get back to the original value we have to increase the decreased value by n by n by d minus n so 2 by 5 must become 2 by 5 minus 2 which is equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 is nothing but to change 2 by 3 into percentage we must divide, uh, multiply it with 100 so 2 by 3 into 100 which is equal to 66.66% so Akil has 66.66% more books than Amit right so here 2 by 2 by 5 became 2 by 3 2 by 3 is nothing but 66.66% okay Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, um, so just pause the video and try to solve the uh, question. If you are unable, then you can resume the video. So, the income of B is fifty percent greater than the income of A. The total, the income of C is twenty percent less than the income of B. Sorry, here this is not age. This is this is 
इनकम दिस इज इनकम ओके सो बाय हाउ मच परसेंट बाय हाउ मच परसेंट द इनकम ऑफ सी इज ग्रेटर दैन द इनकम ऑफ ये ओके सो लेट अस टेक हियर ए हियर बी हियर सी लेट अस एज्यूम द इनकम ऑफ ये टू बी हंड्रेड ओके इन परसेंटेजेस इन परसेंटेजेस जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस फंडा इन परसेंटेजेस एज फार एज पॉसिबल ओके कंसिडर एनी वैल्यू फॉर एनी वैल्यू कंसिडर हंड्रेड टू बी दी बेस ओके सो दैट यू कैन सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स quickly you can calculate quickly okay so a 100 okay let's assume the salary income of a to be 100 so here what is given income of b is 50% greater than income of a that means 100 becomes 150 because income of uh, b is 50% more than a so 100 plus 50% of 100 which is equal to 100 plus 50% of 100 means 50 so 150 but income of c is 20% less than income of b so income of b is 150 150 so 20% less of 150 means deduct 20% from 150 so 150 into 20 by 100 which is equal to 30 so 150 minus 30 which is equal to 120 okay so income of c is 120 but what's the question the question is how much percent by how much percent the income of c is greater than the income of a so income of c is 120 income of a is here 100 so what's the difference here difference is 20 by what's the uh, initial initial in the sense to to which uh, to whom we are comparing of a so here of is there as i uh, told you the in the previous slides is by off rule so whatever value whatever entity follows off that will be in the denominator so as value must be in the denominator into 100 which is equal to 20% increase okay by how much percent the income of c is greater than income of a by 20% let's move on to the next slide so successive increase and decrease successive increase and decrease let us consider a here b here and c okay so if we say that a the value of a is increased by 20% and now the value of a became b and b's value increased by 30% and uh, the new value is c okay so this is we, we followed two steps here from a, a to b a to b is a uh, first step b to c is first step uh, another step so it's a two step process but what if i want to increase directly from a to c by how much percent by what percent i must increase so that a will be c directly how much percent here the first step we took is 20% second step we took is 30% but how much percent we can make uh, the direct way to to calculate directly from a to c so will this percent be greater than 20% plus 30% or this percent be lesser than 20% plus 30% this value will definitely be greater than 20% plus 30% why let's see how let's see how we will solve it we will prove it and then we will get back to this so as i told you in the previous slide in percentages take any example as far as possible consider 100 to be the base value don't take a percentage uh, sorry the decimal value take 100 because calculating uh, calculation will definitely become much more easy okay so a became b after increasing by 20% so that means 100 plus 20 which is 120 okay 120 by 100 into 
B became C by increasing 30%. 30% means 30% increase. So we must add it. Add to 100. 100 plus 30, which is equal to 130 by 100 of A. Okay. This is of A, right? So A, from A to C. Okay. The of A, which is equal to just calculate how much we get. Just calculate now. We get. 1.2 into 1.3 which is equal to 1.56 1.56 of a now just uh, just subtract 1 from this we get 0 0.56 so to, to convert uh, this uh, decimal into percentage we must multiply it with 100 so 0 0.56 into 100 which is equal to 56 percent okay so to convert so to to directly change a to c i must increase a's value by 56 percent okay this value is 56 percent see i told you right this value will definitely be more than greater than 20 percent plus 30 percent if we literally calculate this value 20 plus 30 which is 50 percent 50 percent but this is 56 percent so this is greater than these values so if we want to directly increase that percentage will be greater than this step by step percentages combined percentages okay but what if there are more than two steps so in the previous slide we discussed about only two steps that is from A to B and from B to C. This is step 1, this is step 2. But if we have more than 2 steps, let's say 3 steps, how to calculate? See, we can use the same method. Same method. Nothing to worry about it. Let us assume from A to B, uh, it, from A it, it has got increased by 20% and B got increased by 30% and C got increased by 40% okay so to directly increase from a to d of course this value is greater than these all three values combined but how much percent how much percent it will be greater than all these all the three values combined we shall calculate the same method. we shall follow the same method which is um from a to b it is increased by 20 percent 20 percent increase means we have to add that percentage to 100 100 plus 20 which is equal to 120 by 100 into 30 percent increase so 100 plus 30 which is equal to 130 by 100 40 percent increase so it is 40 140 100 plus 40 which is 140 by 100 of a so what do we get here 1.2 into 1.3 into 1.4 into a of a see 1.2 how did we arrive at 1.2 just cancel this 12 by 10 which is 1.2 right so cancel this we will get this value so if we multiply this what will be the answer 1 point sorry 2.184 okay 2.184 so just uh, detect one from it one from it direct one from it what do we get we get 1.184 okay 1.184 so in order to change this one into percentage okay if we want to change this one into percentage this decimal into percentage what do we get 1.184 into 100 we must multiply it with 100 and we get 118.4 percent okay so in order to directly increase from 118 sorry from a to d we must direct increase a by 1 by 118.4 percent which is equal to all these three steps three percentages combined 20 30 40 40 which is 40 70 90 90 right all these three percentages combined so 118.4 percent is greater than 90 percent okay so this step this uh, this this uh, type 
this way it can be followed anywhere anywhere as far as percentages are concerned let's let's move on to the next slide successive increase or decrease does order matter does order matter so we consider two cases in order to under, understand this case 1 case 1 and case 2 okay so case 1 a we have a a is increased by 20 percent and it became b and b is increased by 30 percent okay see all the time i am not uh, writing this percentage increase value assume this this is increasing every time b increased to c by 30 percent and c increased to uh, d by 40 percent and d increased by 50 percent and it became e Whereas in case 2, A increased by 50% to B and B increased by 40% and became C and C increased by 30% and became D and D increased by 20% and became E dash. Fine. So, what did you observe? Here the pattern is 20, 30, 40 and 50. This is the order. Whereas in this, everything became alter. Okay. Everything is altered here. 50 became uh, from D to E, it's 50. But here from A to B, it's 50. And 40 came here. 30 came here. And 20 came here. So everything is, the order got uh, reversed. Okay. My question to you is whether the values E and E dash whether these values will be same or equal will they be equal or won't they be equal this is my question just think about it just think about it here we percentage we ended with 50 percent here we started with 50 percent and ended with 20 percent okay we will prove it we will prove it but in the meanwhile just think about it will the values of E and E dash be equal or won't they be equal? Okay, we will prove it now. We will prove it now. Let's consider this. So let's assume A to be 100, okay? Now A is increased by 20%, right? So A is increased by 20%. So uh, A becomes 120. So 120 is increased by 30%, okay? Then the value becomes 156. So 156 becomes uh, increased by 40%. Now the value becomes how much? How much is the value? 218.4 now 218.4 got increased by 50 percent what is the value of e 327.6 okay 327.6 this is the value of e let us consider case 2 let us assume the same value okay for a which is 100 100 got increased by 50 percent that means it becomes 150 so 150 got increased by 40 percent that means it becomes 240 okay so 150 becomes 210 and uh, uh, here 110 uh, is increased by 30 percent which becomes 273 and 273 is increased by 20%. What's the final value here? 
final value is 327.6 just calculate see what did you observe e is to 327.6 and e dash is also 327.6 right so e and e dash are equal so no matter how you juggle this how you juggle this this percentages the values remain constant the values remain constant okay let's let's move on to the next slide okay which one what which one do you choose among the following if your boss offers you three types of uh, salary appraisals the first one is one time one time 30 percent increase the second one is two back to back 15 percent increases and three back to back 10 percent increases which one do you choose if your boss offers you this type of appraisal these three types okay which one do you choose among these three just think about it pause the video and think so if we consider the first type okay one time 30 percent increase so let us assume your salary to be 100 now okay one time 30 percent increase means your final salary will be 130 okay you will get 130 rupees here in case two if your salary is 100 now it's increased to 15 percent right 15 percent now the value becomes 115 your salary becomes 115 again two two back to back 15 right so again this is the first 15 this is the second 15 percent increase now 15 percent of 115 not 100 15 percent of 115 now the, the final value becomes how much Just calculate 115% of 115. So 15% of 115 is equal to 132.25. So in the first case, you got 130 rupees. In second case, you got 132.25 rupees. And in third case, how much you will get? The first, uh, the initial amount is 100, 10% increase. That means 110 rupees. And again, 10% increase, which will be equal to 121 rupees and then 10 percent increase because three back to back increases right so first second and third so 121 becomes 133.1 rupees okay 133.1 so which one is the greatest am among these three here 130 132 and 133 so you must you will choose you will choose this type of appraisal 133.1 because what is the rule here when the sum of the percentage increases is constant see here percentage increases the sum is constant right here 30 percent here back to back to 15 percent to 215 means 15 plus 15 which is equal to which is equal to 30 so 3 back to back 10 3 tens means 30 so sum is equal that's not a issue here but percentage increases is constant okay the case with greater number of increases will have a greater increase here what is the greater number of increase here th three is greater right here one is here only one increase here two increases here three increases so this is the greater number of increases so in this case the appraisal the final result will be the highest than than others okay so let's move on to the next one see these are just to make you understand the concept in a in in a better way okay so if a shopkeeper offers you three types of discounts which one do you choose to maximize the discount so one is 30 percent discount two is back to back 15 percent discounts so three back to back 10 percent discounts 
so when you approach uh, approach a shopkeeper so when you want to purchase an item uh, a product so he offered you these three types of discounts okay so i am giving these three type th three types of discounts so which one do you choose whatever you choose i will proceed with that discount so which one in that case which one do you choose among these three let us take initially the product was 100 rupees okay so 30 percent discount means 30 percent reduction which is you will get 70 rupees okay you will get that product for 70 rupees right in second case 100 rupees okay 100 rupees means uh, 15 percent discount initial discount so you will get some other value okay so from this again 15 percent discount of this value so the final value becomes 72.25 percent 25 rupees okay so here three back-to-back -back discounts so 100 becomes if 10 percent is reduced it becomes 90 again 10 percent is reduced okay now it becomes 81 again 10 percent is reduced now it becomes 72.90 okay so which one do you choose will you pay 70 rupees or 72 rupees or will you pay 70 okay 72 point 25 rupees or 72.90 rupees you will you will choose you will pay 70 rupees right so what is the rule here when the sum of percentage decreases is constant the case with the least number of decreases will will have a greatest decrease so sum is constant here because 30 2 15 3 tens all these three become 30 only okay sum is constant but the case with the least number of decreases will have greatest increase which one has least number of decreases here three here two here one so one is least right so it has got it it offers you this case offers you the highest possible reduction highest possible discount in the price of the product okay so ne next next we will move on to the next slide concept of product constancy so what is product constancy here we have uh, this entity a this entity b and we have one more uh, one more value here okay so product constancy means if if anything happens to a if let's say if a is increased b must be decreased in order to make c as constant so we shouldn't make any changes c must be as it is okay so if a is increased b must be decreased if a is decreased then b must be increased so that c will be same as it is as it was previously let's take this example so that you will understand if the if the rate of a pen is rupees 1.25 okay the rate is 1.25 okay then we can purchase 16 pens by paying rupees 60 okay if the rate of the pen is decreased by 0 0.25 rupees then how many pens can we purchase with 20 rupees fine 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 so here rate is rate into number of pens okay number of pens that means rate into quantity is equal to price so here what is the rate in the initial case 1.25 into how many pens did you purchase 16 pens okay what is the price you are spending you spent you spent 20 rupees so you uh, the price of each pen is 1.25 the rate of each pen is 1.25 and you purchase 16 rupees 16 pens by spending 20 rupees but in second case this 1.25 got reduced by 0.25 rupees so the final price became one rupee one rupee in two here what did they ask we are asked to find out how many pens can we purchase in this case okay in this case if you spend 20 rupees as it is but it is reduced so let us assume the number of pens that we purchase that we can purchase to be x so x is equal to just 20 by 1 which is equal to 20 so we can purchase 20 pence here 20 pence here so what happened you observe 
द रेट गॉट डिक्रीज हाउ एव द नंबर ऑफ पैन दिस नंबर गॉट इंक्रीज सो दिस रेट गॉट डिक्रीज द नंबर दिस क्वांटिटी गॉट इंक्रीज दिस वैल्यू ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी रिमेन सेम ओके दिस दिस आर कॉन्स्टेंट ट्वेंटी इज कॉन्स्टेंट Why twenty was is constant because this one is decreased, this one is increased, so it got balanced. So in order to get balanced, the juggling and everything must be in this side. The other side will be constant. So in order to make other side as constant, everything must be done in this. Okay, if this is decreased, this will be increased. If this is uh, increased, this will be decreased. Right. so let's let's move on the price of the price of salt is increased by 25% then how much a percent should a customer reduce the consumption of salt so that he has not the increase he has not to increase his expenses on salt okay so i told you right in percentages take as far as possible consider 100 to be the base value okay anything if you consider if you take any percent any percent it can be increase or decrease your base value must be 100 if it is increase i mean let's say if it's 20% increase then you will be calculating as 100 plus 20 which will be equal to 120 if it is a uh, decrease suppose it's 80% decrease then you will subtract that with 100 100 minus 80 which is equal to 20% okay but the base the base the reference point must be 100 okay so let's proceed to this um, question the price of salt is increased by 25% right so initially it was 100 let us assume the price uh, to be 100 initially but it became it increased by 25% so 100 becomes increases by 25% so 100 plus 25 which is equal to 125 now what is the question how much percent uh, should a customer reduce the consumption of salt so that he has not to increase his expenses on salt so what's the difference here 125 minus 100 25 by we are comparing that with 125 right 125 into 100 so let's calculate 25 fives are 5 ones are 25 20 so 20% in decrease okay so if a customer reduces uh, the consumption of salt by 20% uh, he shouldn't uh, there is no need to increase the price increase the expenses on salt right okay let's move on to the next slide the length of a plot is decreased by 33.33% by how much percent the breadth of the plot will be increased so that the area remains constant okay so here what happened was the initial let us assume the initial uh, length of the plot to be 100 so it got decreased by 33.33% it got decreased by 33.33% and now it becomes 100 minus 33.33 which is equal to 66.67 okay so calculate the difference 100 minus 66.67 which is equal to 33.33 by this value we are comparing that with this value right so 66.67 into 100 so the final value is almost equal to 50 percent 49 point something uh, 49.86 uh, or something like that so it's equal to approximately equal to 50 percent okay just calculate do the calculation let's move on to the next slide yes buy versus to there is a clear difference between buy and to what is the difference if we consider this uh, this statement the salary is reduced to reduced by 30% reduced by 30% means if we assume the initial salary to be 100 it got reduced by 30% so 100 minus 30 the final salary is 70 rupees 70 okay 70% but the salary is reduced 
2 reduced to 30 percent that means from 100 it became 30 percent right from 100 percent it became 30 percent those so the final salary is 30 percent not 70 percent so it reduced to 30 percent means from whatever the initial value from that it became that value directly if it is reduced by 30 percent means or some other value we have to decrease we have to deduct that percentage from the initial value did you observe the difference in the first case we have 70 percent as the new salary but in the second case we have 30 as the 30 percent as the new salary okay yeah so in an election between two candidates the candidate with who got 57 percent valid votes won by a majority of 420 votes find the total number of valid votes okay so initially uh, okay so the winner got how many votes 57 percent votes so the loser got how many votes 43 percent votes right so if a winner gets 57 the loser gets 100 minus 57 100 minus 57 percent votes that is equal to 43 percent votes so what's the difference here 14 percent right 57 minus uh, 43 which is equal to 14 percent what is given in the question um, the winner who got i mean the candidate who got 57 valid votes 57 percent valid votes won by a majority of 420 votes won by a majority of 420 votes means 420 votes extra he got 420 420 extra more votes than the loser so 420 is the difference 420 is the votes difference between the winner and loser here what is the percentage difference 57 minus uh, 43 14 percent so 14 percent is the difference 14 percent is 420 votes how much is 100 percent 100 percent why 100 percent we have we we are asked to find out the total number of votes so 100 for 14 percent is 400 420 what is 100 percent calculate 420 into 420 into 100 by 14 okay how do you calculate this just cross you cross multiply 420 into 100 by 14 it is equal to just just calculate 3000 okay so 3000 are the total votes fine out of this 3000 57 percent votes got uh, i mean uh, were cast for the winner and uh, remaining 43 percent what to the loser okay due to fall in manpower the production the production in an industry decreases by 60 percent by what percent by what percent should the working hours be increased to restore the original production in the factory okay so let us assume the initial one to be 100 okay initial one to be 100 now what happened uh, initial production to be 100 now the production is in an industry in that industry decreases by 60 percent so 100 got decreased by 60 percent so 100 minus 60 so decrease means we have to uh, subtract so 100 minus 60 becomes 40 so the current value is 40 so what's the difference 100 minus 40 which is 60 by we are comparing with 40 now that's so let's uh, keep that in denominator into 100 what is the value here just calculate the value becomes 150 percent 2 2 is a 2 5 is a um, 2 that is a 30 into 5 which is equal to 150 percent so 150 percent by 150 percent uh, the manpower must be increased the working hours working hours must be increased to restore the original production in in that factory okay let's move on to the next slide okay chain type models chain type models i will explain you why these type of models uh, these type of questions are called chain type 
so we, we, we will uh, look into this question now a shopkeeper had uh, n chocolates initially a customer bought 10% chocolates from n then another customer bought 20% of the remaining chocolates after that one more customer purchased 25% of the remaining chocolates finally shopkeeper is left with 270 chocolates in his shop how many chocolates were there initially in his shop okay so these type of models see what happened he, as shopkeeper had n chocolates initially but a customer purchased 10 percent of these chocolates okay 10 percent of these chocolates and the final value became 90 here 90 percent and then from this 90 percent he purchased and one more customer purchased and one more customer purchased uh, from this so this is like a chain type right so it because of this uh, these models these questions are um, regarded as chain type of questions so what is the approach here let us assume the initial number of chocolates to be n okay final number of chocolates final chocolates are given the final number is 270 so the final value is equal to initial value into the first one uh, the remaining one a customer bought 10% chocolates so 10% chocolates he purchased so that what is the remaining value 100 minus 10 which is 90 by 100 into um, the second customer bought 20% chocolates of the remaining chocolates so 100 minus 20 which is 80 by 100 why 100 minus 20 we are not calculating this this 20 we are calculating the remaining value so remaining is if 100 if, uh, if, we, if we deduct 20 from 100 the remaining value will be 80 right so 80 by 100 and one more customer bought purchased 25 percent that means what's the remaining value remaining value is 100 minus 25 which is equal to 75 by 100 right so why are we taking the remaining values why because we consider remaining value in the left hand side in in the other side so as we take this remaining value on the other side okay we have to take the remaining values on the other side also okay this side we are taking remaining value so we should also take remaining values on the other side right so we must calculate n, n is equal to 270 into 100 into 100 into 100 by 90 into 80 into 75. Calculate n, n, is, n will be equal to 500. So calculate this, you will get 500. So initial number of chocolates are, initial number of chocolates were 500 and the final uh, number of chocolates are 270 okay let's move on to the next slide ajay gives 10 percent of his salary to his wife 10 percent of the remaining for a donation again and again 10 percent of the remaining to covid 19 relief fund okay so this is somewhat related to the current situation hmm now he has only 7290 with him so what was the initial sum of money with that person okay we got we have uh, the amount the remaining amount okay the remaining amount is 7290 so calculate the same method use the same method to calculate so remaining amount we have 7290 which is equal to let us assume the initial amount to be n into 10 percent he spent so the remaining is 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 by 100 again he he spent 10 percent so 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 by 100 again he spent uh, 10 percent so the remaining is 90 by 10 100 minus 10 is 90 by uh, 90 by 100 so calculate n n, n will be equal to 7290 into 100 into 100 into 100 by 90 into 90 into 90 okay so the remaining uh, value will be equal to just calculate and you will get 10,000 as the initial amount fine yeah 
so the next slide population based problems population based problems so in this case we have two two types case one and case two case one the population is given present population is given in case two also present population is given not to worry about it but in case one we are asked to find out the population in future in we have we are asked to find the population of uh, a certain area a certain city or a country okay in future that means after uh, two years what will be the population after five years or six years like that for that this is the formula to calculate okay this is the formula to calculate present population into first rate by 100 into second rate by 100 okay we will get back to this formula we will apply this formula uh, generally uh, i am very much uh, not i'm not like i mean i don't love to calculate anything to solve any problem by using formula okay so as far as possible don't use formula and shortcuts okay the go through concept based um, okay we will we will solve we will solve in a much quicker way uh, if we understand the whole concept okay if we understand the whole concept we will uh, solve in a much quicker way so we'll get back to this formula after solving some uh, after starting some questions so in case two we are asked to find out the population of past not future like uh, what was the population before two years before five years before six years like that so please remember this i will get back uh, to this formula to the application of this formula so we'll solve this so you will get a clear idea how to solve this population based problems so if we consider uh, if the annual increase in the population be 20 percent okay annual increase is 20 percent so what do what what must be our calculation 100 plus 20 it will it will be 120 and the present population be 10,000 I told you right if you consider case 1 and case 2 and in any case the present population will be given the present population will be given as present population is given in this case the present population is 10,000 so what will be the population after three years hence so after three years means the population of the future so present population into 20 percent increase 20 percent increase means 100 plus 20 100 plus 20 means 120 120 by 100 so how many for how many years for three years right so 120 by 100 into 120 by 100 into 120 by 100 if we were asked to find out for four years then we would consider one more year one more value but here only three years so we must take only for three years only consider three cases okay this is the first year this is for second year this is for third year and this is the present population so calculate calculate this cancel all the zeros and calculate you will get the population after three years as 17,280 so this is the population after three years with 20 percent increase every year okay so let's move on to the next uh, problem next uh, population based problem the population of a town in the first year increases by 10 percent in the second year it decreases decreases by 10 percent once again in the third year it increases by 10 percent and in the fourth year it decreases by 10 percent if the present population be 20,000 then the population after four years will be okay so what happened the present population is given so 20,000 is the present population into uh, what is the rate here rate is 10 percent 10 percent rate so 10 percent increase not decrease 10 percent increase means we must add it so 100 plus 10 which is equal to 110 by 100 but in the second year it got it, it got decreased by 10 percent so we must subtract 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 by 100 into once again it in third year it increases by 10 percent so 100 plus 10 110 by 100 in fourth year it decreases by 10 percent so 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 by 100 okay so calculate this 
we will get how much do we get we get after four years see why we take why we took four but because we have to calculate for four years right so this is the first year this is for second year this is for third year and this is the fourth year so calculate how much we get we get 19,602 as the population after four years okay yeah the population of a town increases by 12 percent uh, during first year uh, and decreases by 10 percent during the second year if the population if the present population is 50,400 this is not rupees sorry this is not rupees 50,400 what it was two years ago two years ago means two years before this is the population we need to find the population of the past not present not future okay so in this case also we will take the present population present population is equal to as per the formula we must take the uh, present population as um, to be on the one side any one of the sides so 50,400 is equal to let us assume uh, the population of the past to be x okay into in first year it got increased by 12 percent so 100 my 100 plus 12 which is equal to 112 by 100 into uh, in the second year it got decreased by 10 percent so 100 minus 10 which is equal to 90 by 100 so calculate calculate x x will be equal to 50,400 into 100 into 100 by 112 into 90 which will be equal to 50,000 okay so 50,000 was the population before two years fine let's let's move on to the next slide okay so whenever we have our uh, two entities the first one is x percent and the second one is y percent so when we are asked to find the percentage change okay what we must do is we must take the uh, we must consider percent and y percent so in order to uh, calculate the percentage change let us see how okay we will we will see it If we say that x percent is positive, y percent is uh, also positive, then percentage change will be plus x plus y plus x y by hundred. If we say x percent is positive and y is negative, then it will be plus x minus y minus x y by hundred. If we take x percent as negative and y as positive, then it will be minus x plus y minus x y by 100 and if we consider both x and y as negative then it will be minus x minus y plus x y by 100 so here observe this the value of x okay will be the same value okay so here x is plus here y is plus so it will be plus and plus here plus here minus so it will be plus and minus here minus here plus so it will be minus and plus here that's not a problem but if the two values are positive then here this will be also positive either if and and also if the two values are negative this will be positive if any one of these two values and if any one of uh, the values of x and y are negative then this will be this will be negative okay 
we will apply this we will apply this formula or uh, formula in uh, the upcoming problems so on decreasing the price of a color tv by 30 percent its sales uh, it uh, got increased by 20 percent find the percentage increase or decrease okay so here what is x percent x percent is 30 okay 30 but it got it got it decreased right so decreasing uh, by 30 percent means minus 30 okay this is x percent and what is y percent it got the sales got increased by 20 percent got increased means it is plus so here minus here plus so here also what is the percentage change minus 30 plus 20 so one of these values is minus so it will be minus 30 into 20 by 100 so calculate this minus 10 minus 6 minus 16 percent is the percentage change percentage decrease okay minus in the sense it is decrease okay a person saves every year 20 percent of his income if his income increases every year by 10 percent then his savings increase every year by okay so let us assume his uh, income to be 100 income to be 100 so these are the savings so 20 percent he saves 20 percent of the income so what is 20 percent of 100 20 percent of 100 20 percent of uh, 100 is 20 okay 20 percent is 20 but now what happened if his income increases every year by 100 10 percent so 100 becomes 10 percent of 100 uh, I mean 100 got increased by 10 percent so the income will be 110 now so as income got increased by 10 percent the savings will also be increased by 10 percent right so 10 percent increase in savings means 22 okay now what what is the question this uh, so we must calculate the percentage increase in savings so initial savings were 20 final saving is 22 so what's the difference 22 minus 20 it's 2 by initial value 20 into 100 which is equal to 10 percent 10 percent increase see here you can directly calculate like this so if it is the inc income is increased by 10 percent savings will also be increased 10 percent but how did we arrive for that i explained this okay so let's move on to the next slide in a library 40 percent of books are in english 60 per 50 percent of the remaining are in hindi okay and 60 percent of the remaining are in sanskrit and the remaining are 7200 books are in are of other languages okay uh, find the total number of uh, books in in that library so remaining books what are remaining books how many are there 7200 remaining books is equal to let us assume the total number to be x okay so we solved this method this method in lots of problems previously okay so remaining books is equal to x into if 40 percent books are in english so remaining what's the remaining value 100 minus 40 60 by 100 into if 50 percent of the remaining books are hindi then what's the remaining remaining of 50 means 50 by 100 into if 60 percent of the remaining are in sanskrit so 60 means the remaining is 100 minus 60 which is 40 by 100 so calculate x x will be equal to 7200 into 100 into 100 into 100 divided by 60 into 50 into 40 okay 16 to 15 to 40 what do we get we get x as 60,000 60,000 books initially 60,000 books were there okay the total number of books not initial value the total number of books are uh, 60,000 fine so the traditional method we have we have all we have a traditional method also which is of course it is a cumbersome uh, process if we calculate through 
by using traditional method let us assume the uh, total number of books to be 100 percent right so if 40 percent are book of books are in english so 40 percent so if 40 percent are english what is the remaining remaining is 60 percent so out of this 60 percent uh, 50 percent are hindi okay out of this 60 percent 50 percent are hindi so detect uh, 50 percent of 60 percent which is 30 so the final is 30 percent so out of this 30 percent hmm, 60 percent are sanskrit okay 60 percent are sanskrit right out of this 30 percent 60 percent are sanskrit so what is 60 percent of 30 uh, percent 18 18 percent are sanskrit so what's the final value 12 percent so if this 12 percent is equal to 7200 if 12 percent 12 percent is equal to 7200 what will be 100 percent 100 percent in the sense the total value what will be the 100 percent 100 percent will be equal to 7200 just cross multiply to 7200 into 100 by 12 which will be equal to 60,000 okay so this is these two values are same but this calculation is entirely cumbersome okay it, it, you I am not telling that you cannot calculate you can calculate but as far as competitive exams are concerned don't even calculate like this this is a simple way to calculate okay let's move on to the next one in an organization 32 percent of the total employees are management graduates 11 by 17 of the remaining employees are engineering graduates and rest of the 17,000 uh, 1788 employees are undergraduates what is the total number of employees in the organization okay so total number of employees what is the remaining uh, rest of the employees that means remaining value is 1788 so let us assume the total number to be x so this is uh, the same method as we followed uh, till now okay x into uh, if 32 percent are uh, 32 percent are total employees 32 percent are management uh, graduates then what is the remaining percentage 100 minus 32 which is 68 by 100 okay into if 11 by 17 11 by 17 um, are the engineering graduates then what is the remaining if 11 by 17 are the engineering graduates the remaining value is 6 by 17 because 11 by 17 plus 6 by 17 is equal to 7 by 17 by 17 which is equal to 1 so remaining value is 6 by 17 into 6 by 17 see why are we taking uh, the remaining values because in the in this side in one side we took the remaining value right so if we take the remaining value here we must also take remaining values of the others in the on the other side okay so calculate x x will be equal to 7450 what is this value 7450 is the total number of employees in the organization okay out of the 7450 32% 32% are the management graduates and out of the 7450 11 by 17 are the i mean out of uh, the remaining value 11 by 17 are the ma uh, engineering graduates okay Let's move on to the next one. In an examination, 60% of the candidates passed in Hindi, 70% passed in uh, English, and 25% failed in both. Find the overall pass percentage. Okay, so for this, we have N of A, N of A union B. N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus n of a intersection b see inter we will uh, discuss about all these uh, formulas in detail in venn diagrams concept but this is a basic formula this is a basic formula see here intersection means the common part okay the common 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 part okay um 
we will, we will apply this we will apply this i will explain you how to apply so in an exam 60% of the candidates passed in hindi so 60% are passed in hindi so 60% is the pass percentage plus so n of a is 60 what is n of b uh, 70 percent passed in english so 70 percent is n of b okay and 25 percent failed in both so if 25 percent are failed then how many students uh, passed 100 minus 25 so this is the remaining value 75 percent passed so here we took 60 percent as pass percentage n of b also we took pass percentage we must also take the common part as the pass percentage not the failed percentage okay here 60 is pass percentage of only hindi 70 is the pass percentage of english but 75 percent is the common part of both hindi and english okay 60 plus 70 minus 75 which is equal to 55 percent passed 55 percent of the candidates passed in both the exams both exams okay both both exams this is the overall pass percentage okay so if we solve this example then you will be much more clear okay you will understand much more clear in a clear way in an exam 30 percent and 35 percent students respectively failed in hindi history history and geography while 27 percent students failed in both the subjects if the number of students passing in passing the exam is 248 find the total number of students who appeared in the exam okay so the same formula n of a union b is equal to n of a plus uh, n of b minus n of a intersection b okay so what is n of a here see see let me tell you one thing if you are considering everything as pass percent pass percent then all write all the values uh, of the pass percentage i mean all the values must be in pass percentage if you are converting all as fail percent okay then you must convert all these all the three values to fail percent you can follow either this or this nothing but don't intermix the don't take first two as pass percent and third one as uh, the failed percent or either don't take the first two as failed percent and the third third one as pass percent every value every value of the three should be only one either pass or convert all the three into failed percent okay so n of a is equal to here we shall take the uh, let us take the failed percentage here okay 30 percent n of a is equal to 30 plus n of b n of b is geography which is in which 35 percent failed so 30 plus 35 minus what is the how many are failed in both i mean how many are failed in common in both history and geography 27 students failed in both so 27 so this is also failed person this is also failed person this is also failed percent okay we converted everything in failed percent of course it is given in the question directly so 30 plus 35 minus 27 which is equal to 38 percent right okay this is 38 percent failed percent okay now what is the question here find the total number of students who appeared in the exam okay and we we are given the number of students passing the exam as 248 248 students passed passed the exam but we have failed percent 38 percent is failed then how much is the percentage of passed 100 minus 38 which is equal to 62 so if 38 is failed then to calculate the pass percent we must just subtract it with 100 100 minus 38 is 62 so 62 percent students passed so 62 percent is equal to 248 248 members here this is percentage we are expressing this in numbers here it is given right the number of students who passed in exam is 248 so 62 percent is equal to 248 then how much is 100 percent 100% means the total number of students who appeared in the exam. 
So how much is 100%? 100% 100 is 248 into 100, just cross multiply, 100 by 62, which is equal to 400. So 400 are the total, total number of students who appeared for the exam. Out of this uh, 400, 38 percent failed and 62 percent passed 62 percent of 400 means 248 calculate calculate this if you want to understand more how much is uh, 62 percent of 400 62 percent of 400 will be equal to 248 okay but how just calculate two times 62 by 100 into 400 cancel this two 62 into 4 62 into 4 which is 248 see you got here right okay let's move on to the next one a student has to secure 35 percent marks in marks to pass however he gets 60 650 marks and fails by 50 marks the maximum marks are so the pass mark the pass mark is 700 how did we arrive because he gets 650 marks and fails by 50 marks so if he had got 50 marks he would have passed but he didn't pass because he got only 650 if he, he fails by 50 marks so the pass mark is 700 the 700 marks are the pass marks but 35% is the pass percentage so 35% is pass percentage 35% is equal to 700 marks then what is 100% 100% means total marks so just calculate 700 just multiply cross multiply 700 into 100 okay take this value by 35 which is equal to 2000 so 2000 are the maximum marks maximum marks that means total total marks okay so out of this total marks out of this 2700 is the pass mark but he got only 650 okay that's why he failed by 50 marks okay let's um, yeah so we solve some basic problems basic models basic models of uh, percentages in the upcoming uh, videos okay in, in the upcoming sessions we will solve level one okay level one the uh, easier questions and after that we will solve moderate questions which are level two questions plus previous years previous years cat questions as far as uh, the topic is concerned okay. here the here it's percentages okay previous years cat questions okay so i think this session is uh, good this session is useful for you so thank you very much thank you for listening thank you for attending and all the very best all the very best thank you and uh, and one more thing uh, we will we will be giving you the handouts handouts soon after the class so kindly solve them uh, you must uh, solve them okay we will we, we pick up different models we will pick up uh, different models okay so thank you very much